Welcome to another episode of the Royal Family of Windenburg. In this episode, Princess Anna is going to turn into a child, and we're also going to have a royal dinner party, and that way you guys can meet the other noble families in the other worlds as well. I know we've already met the royal families, but there are a lot of noble families in Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, and Windenburg, so this will give you a chance to kind of meet them all. I'm not going to throw an official birthday party for Princess Anna, just because we're already going to be having a party slash event. So we're going to have her blow out the candles really quick before we start the dinner party. And then I'm going to change her clothes real quick and then we'll move on into our royal dinner party. So why don't we go ahead? I have already made a cake for Princess Anna because it seems like every time I try to make, well, we're not having a birthday party anyway, but if you've seen my past videos, for some reason I'm just awful at getting them to do the main goal in time, and then all of the events fail, and it's great. So we're going to, and speaking of, I think I pre-made the meal already for, oh, no, we want to put candles on this thing. I think I already made the meal for the dinner party to avoid that whole situation, so hopefully that will work. So we're going to add the birthday candles, and then we're going to have her blow out the candles. So where is our king? Oh, there he is. So we're looking very casual today. So we're going to, I think I need Princess Anna to do this. So she's going to, oh, candles help. Yes. And we'll ask her mother to help her. Oh, she's so excited to blow out the candles. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I think we're, yeah, we can stop teaching her how to talk. She knows how to talk. She's talking right now, so I don't know why we're teaching her how to talk, but we can do that. And then, come on, let's go. There we go. So her mother will help her to the candles so they can blow them out. And then we can have her change into a child. I'm really excited to see what she's going to look like. And then we can pick out the outfits for her as well. I don't want her to look too similar to her sister, but I do want that long, half up, half down hairstyle. It's a little different from the one that her sister has, but we'll see. Okay, so here we go. Blowing out the candle. She's turning into a child. There we go. Princess Anna aged up. So we have to pick some new traits for her. So why don't we go with a social trait? She's going to be a social butterfly. She's the youngest child, so she's going to be super outgoing. There we go, outgoing. And she's going to be super wild, too, like she was when she was a toddler. So, ooh, yeah, we need to change her outfit. So let's do this. Not a huge fan of this right now. And then we'll modify and cast. Okay, so why don't we start with her hair? Let's see, what outfit is she in right now? She's in her hot weather outfit, so let's do the everyday outfit, and then we can change her hairstyle. I really like this one, and I know her sister has this hairstyle, I think, for maybe her party hair. Maybe I'll just go in and change that. So this will be her hair, and then we can pick a casual outfit for her. Let's see what are some of the full body outfits we have. This one's really cute. We do have a purple one for their family colors, which is purple. And then let's see what else they have. We have, I know her sister has this one. And then... I always kind of liked this. I don't know. If, oh, yeah, they don't really have a purple one. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if we should do purple or if we should do pink. Purple one definitely. I mean, the colors are technically purple and pink, mostly because there aren't too many purple options for the clothes. I'm just trying to think if this is like princessy enough. I feel like it's preppy, sort of, but I don't know if it's considered princess like. So, why don't we do, can we do this for an everyday outfit? Oh, they don't have a purple one, they only have a pink one. Um, why don't we go with, actually I just want to see what her sister's outfits are, just so I don't do the same one as one of the other outfits. Now that's her formal one, what's her party dress look like? Okay, so that's already her sister's party dress. Oh yeah, and her sister's hair is like this too. So I'm actually going to just change her sister's hair really quickly for the formal outfits. And I know that, where did it go? What's her normal, this is her normal hairstyle. So I'm just going to keep that. That can be her party hairstyle too. So her and her sister are definitely going to look similar. So maybe we should change it a little bit. 
why don't we do, you know what, I'm just going to do this outfit for her everyday wear. She's a child, it's okay, it's fine, it doesn't need to be super fancy. And then, let's see, what shoes can we wear? I actually kind of like the shoes that she's wearing. Maybe this, mm, well, we have something like this. Do we want to do white or cream? We do cream. Oh, I'm still debating. Oh, I'll just come back if I don't like it. Okay, and then we'll do her formal outfit. So her sister is wearing this one. I think she's wearing a, a purple one. Why don't we wear a pink one? That way they can still be very princessy, but, and then obviously their sister, so it can be somewhat similar. So why don't we do that? And then we'll do some nice white shoes like this. That's really pretty. She definitely looks like a princess in this. That comes with a holiday one? Oh, one of the holiday packs. I don't know, it's really pretty though. Oh, they do have some other really nice outfits though. I love these. Like, let's see, where's the other one? This one is really cute too. It's very holiday-ish, I feel like. I don't know. I'm just going to stick with this one. And then do her athletic wear. I'm going to do this and we'll do a purple one. I'm not a huge fan of the socks. I'm going to get rid of that. And then we'll do some nice purple shoes. Then we have her sleep wear. So why don't we do... I kind of like this. Let's see. Where's, mm, for that one. I'll stick with the one she has. And then some cute bunny slippers. Do purple bunny slippers. And ooh. That's that could definitely be a cute winter holiday outfit, but I'm not sure I like it for her party outfit. So why don't we I don't think her sister's wearing this one. So why don't we wear this? Yeah. Cause I think her sister wears the other one for her party outfit. Actually, no, she doesn't. Let me just check. I have a really bad memory. Oh, okay. Duh. Okay, that one's her party outfit. So, I'll make this her sister's party outfit, and then we can change the shoes to, let's see, what about these babies look like? Mm, I don't know. Too casual. What about pink? No, purple? The purple actually looks pretty good, even though everything is purple. Okay, and then her swimwear. Why don't we do this and I feel like her hair would be different for swimwear yeah why don't we put her hair up into a ponytail let's see where's the ponytail I know there's one with a ponytail ribbon mm, why can't I find it oh there it is I just saw it there we go there we go okay that'll be her swimwear and then her hot outfit hot <laughs> hot weather outfit it can be Really? That's something you'd wear in hot weather? I guess so, because it's a dress. Hmm. This might work. The pink one? Hmm. I don't know. Or, um, I don't know, it's too casual. What about this? That works. Or, hmm. Yes. Why don't we go with well, you know what? Actually, this is kind of growing on me, so I think I'm going to pick this one. It's a little fancy, but she's a princess, so it makes sense. Okay. There we go. Oh, well, you know what? She'd be wearing sandals. Yeah. There we go. That makes it a little less fancy. What if we do... There we go. That goes much better. And then her winter outfit. She's rocking the shades. So why don't we do... I like this one a lot. That's really cute. Okay. And then boots. Do purple boots. Are these are these leggings that she's wearing? No, that comes with the outfit. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of the shades because <laughs> I feel like she'd be wearing shades more for hot weather and not cold weather. But maybe we could do a hat. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. I love this. Okay, we're done. There we go, and then we have her all set. Okay, so now we're gonna start our dinner party. Even though it is 12 a.m., we're gonna do it anyway. Oh, okay, unwelcome present. I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? That present was for you, be grateful. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely you should be grateful for that. 
planners increase and food decreases. Okay, so yes, we're gonna start our dinner party. I'm going to, oh, whoops. Okay, let's have the queen host it. A 12 a.m. royal dinner party, it's fine. Plan a social event. And then we're going to invite the, I think she mostly knows the adults of the noble family, and then we'll make the kids start their kids club gathering, so that way you can also meet all of the kids, because I think most of the noble family's children are in the kids club, so you guys will be able to see. So we're going to do a dinner, was that one of the first ones? A dinner party? No. Where'd it go? Dinner party. There it is. Make it a gold event, and then we want the host to be the king and the queen. And then we're going to have our guests, obviously our children, going to be there. I Okay, so we have, like, the counts, the duchess, duchesses, duchess? Um, and then we have, let's see what else do we have. We have marquees. We have all of these different people. And, like, the elder one right here, I'm pretty sure her child is the next in line to be the count. So... I'm not going to invite her just because she's probably not going to be around very long. So I'm going to have you guys meet the other people instead. So we'll have, like, yeah, we can do the Duchess. Usually if they're a lady or a, or sir, you'll see that too. It's because they're the children of the Duchess or Dukes or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I really want to invite Oh, she doesn't know as many people as I thought she did. Whoa, what? No. Okay. You know what? The king the king's the one who knows them all, I think. So I'm gonna have the king start the dinner party. Okay, plan a social event. Sorry, this is taking so long. Okay, so yes. King George dinner party. And then dinner party, gold event, hosts, queen, king, guests, children, baroness, baron. So these are the baron and baroness of Oasis Springs. This one is the Baroness of Willow Creek, the Marquis of Willow Creek. I, you've already met the kings and queens, so I'm not going to make it a priority to invite them, but if we have more room, I'll invite them. Countess Julia. Mm, I swear we need more people. I don't know what happened to all the people. Anyway, so that's the Marquis of Windenburg. And then... You got, I want you guys to meet more. I thought they were, they definitely know more than this. I wonder if it's just because it's in the middle of the night and people are sleeping. But I guess you guys can meet these people for now. So it looks like we'll actually have more room to invite the king and queen of Willow Creek. Yeah, like, okay, so the queen of Oasis Springs is on here, but the king of Oasis Springs isn't on here. I don't know why. So we'll invite them. And then caterer. Well, uh, I already made the food. So yeah, I don't think we need a caterer. At least I hope I made the food. We'll see, I guess. Okay, and then we'll have it at the palace. So we're gonna start our dinner party. I'm going to use a quick cheat because everyone needs to use the bathroom for some reason. So I don't feel like taking care of that. So we'll just fill the needs of the entire world. And then, oh, okay, so we have, actually, you know what? I'm gonna save this cake for a future birthday party. And then, Let's see, where is all of our food? Because I know I made food. I thought I made food. You know what? I probably didn't. Of course I didn't. I forgot again. Okay. So I don't know where our, uh, not bachelor. I don't know where our butler is. And, oh, there he is. Okay, so I can actually ask him to make food. So we'll do that. Um, uh, butler, assign task cook party meal there we go and we'll see what he cooks so now we can socialize with all oh you know what no i need to invite everyone in the kids club so you guys can meet the kids i also need to add princess anna to here oh there's other mm, there's other kids too that i really want to add maybe i'll just i'll wait to add her because i don't know why uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait to add her because then we can invite other kids to come. So I'll do that and then I'll just add her to the group later. So start gathering so that way all the kids are here. Oh, there's a ghost. I don't know which queen that is. 
but it's probably the ghost of one of our past queens. So, oh my gosh, there's another one. I just want to see who this is. This is Queen Ezra. Hmm. Okay, we can actually see who that is when you look here. That's what I like about this thing. So, Queen Ezra, I think it was her. Nope, that's Queen Solo, Queen Elisa. Queen, that was her. That's her. So she was like, oh, she's the most recent, most recent queen. Okay. And then we're going to, why don't we have the king start, a, oh, no, you, you know what? We need to have the sims all, the sims, yeah, the sims all dancing. So we're going to turn on, we'll do some, just do, I know it's not easy to dance to, but we'll do some classical music since we're being very elegant and royal and it's a nice royal dinner party. So we're going to, can I have him dance? Uh, just go here. Can you go here and then we'll see if he can dance to the music. I don't, mm, he can listen to it. I don't know why he can't dance to it. That's odd. Do I need to put a dance floor here? No, I'm pretty sure they can dance without the dance floor. I guess we'll see. Okay, let's see how our meal is coming since that is the most important thing. So he's still cooking. What is he cooking? What is this? Oh, it doesn't tell you yet. Hmm. That, I feel like, I have a feeling it's going to be like mac and cheese or something like that. What is this? Fish and chips. Okay, that's very... English and so is Windenburg so that works so I'm just going to put this in her inventory and then we'll bring it upstairs I feel like there's not a not going to be enough food for people but I guess we will see maybe I'll ask him to make one more meal we have time so and then I can just call people to that meal so I'll ask him assign task and then okay assign task cook party meal so we can cook one more thing and then we'll have the king call everyone to a meal and that way we can have everyone be in one room so it won't be as hard to talk to them so call the meal we'll have him do that and then is anyone else dancing i don't think so the kids are upstairs playing i kind of oh whoops i kind of want them to be downstairs can we all dance together wind down with classical together I wonder if it's because the type of music. Maybe. So let's do some pop. And then now we can dance. Okay, we're going to have all the kids dance together. That makes sense. So you can't really dance to classical music, I guess. So the queen is just hanging out in the bathroom. Has the king called anyone to a meal yet? I don't think so, because then this would be fulfilled. So we're going to call anyone to the meal he's just standing there do i need to reset him okay now i'll call everyone to the meal he's just standing there except all the kids are going to dance okay there we go he's like come on guests we have some fish and chips ready for you all all of the kids are dancing that is adorable I think that, hmm, I wonder, I'm assuming they have to be party guests, but the kids are party guests too, so I don't understand why. Maybe I'll have her dance too. That might work. And the prince is dancing. Look at all these kids dancing together. That is hilarious. It's like one big dance mob, and they're all doing the same thing. That's really adorable. Okay. So why don't we see what everyone here is up to, and that way you guys can meet some of our other guests. So we have, let's see, who is this? Baroness Mira, and she is the Baroness of Willow Creek, so I guess the Queen hasn't met her yet. So I'm going to introduce ourselves to her, and then, yeah, I guess we'll have to introduce ourselves to anyone we haven't met yet. We'll thank our guests for coming, and then I know... These people are related to the king and queen somehow. Yes, okay, so Baroness Jane of Oasis Springs is the king's cousin. And then, oh, that's our butler. Let's see, who else is here? We have Countess Julia is also his cousin. 
Uh, Lady Jocelyn is his cousin. See, they're like all cousins. Uh, oh, Marquis Eliza is his sister. Is she actually here? I don't see her. Hmm. I guess she didn't come because she didn't show up on our guest list. Baroness. Oh, Baroness Mira is also his sister. Okay, there you go. So that makes sense. So yeah, these people are all just related to each other somehow. There's just so many families. It's hilarious. Okay, so we're just chatting. We've already met the queen, Queen Elena. She actually, I'm pretty sure she just had a baby boy. So we need to visit him soon. So thanks for coming. Uh, we need our sims to be playful. Hmm. Can we make the kids be playful? I think you guys have met almost all of the kids at least. So obviously here is Princess Alice. So we'll have Prince Henry chat with her. Their relationship is definitely growing a lot more, so I'm pretty sure they're going to end up together. I have a feeling. And then we have, let's see, we have our cousins, the Princes of Oasis Springs. So those are our kids' cousins. And then I really need to change this guy's outfit. Sir Javin of Willow Creek. Let's see, are we related to him somehow? Hmm complaining about parents to him and then let's see are we related Sir Jav is that his name Sir Javin I think so yeah Sir Javin is oh you know what I can just check her club okay he is not our cousin so I don't know whose child he is but I guess we'll see but he's probably the child of a duke or something from Oasis Springs and we're still looking for someone for Princess Cora to end up with, so actually he might be a good candidate. Okay, so let's see how our dinner party is going. We have, everyone is just, oh, we have one of the children doing their homework. I'm just going to introduce ourselves to, we'll have the queen introduce herself to the kids, because I think it's important to know their children's friends. So we'll have the king introduce himself to, and then is there anyone else we need to introduce ourselves to? Sir Walter, do a polite introduction to him, and he's also from a noble family in Oasis Springs, it looks like. So, let's see, how are we, are we related to him? Um, Sir Walter is, I need to change his clothes too. Uh, no, we're not related to him either. Okay, cool. Um, and then, let's see, who else do we need to meet? Why don't we have the kids start introducing themselves? And that way it'll also increase their manners, too, when they introduce themselves to adults. So I think that's kind of cool. So it's important for them to meet all of the noble families in the other worlds. I know, yeah, she already knows the king, but we'll just, we'll talk to him, brighten his day. And then she needs to meet the other adults as well. So there's a lot for them to meet. And our dinner party's almost over. I'm not going to make a garden salad. I don't think it's necessary to try to make this event gold. I'm glad we just have it at silver, and I'm glad that it wasn't an unsuccessful event because that happens to me a lot. And I'm really glad we decided to make the food first. Like The first thing we did was make the food. But, yeah, I just, I'm so bad at getting the main goal to happen. So I'm glad that that didn't happen this time. It's so crowded here. Now the kids are introducing themselves. To, oh, I like this dress. That looks really good on her. This is her, his aunt, maybe? I don't know. It's so hard. It's so hard to figure out. I just have to look at their relationship, and then I can figure out if they're related or not, because so many of them are related. And then also a lot of them look the same, too, because obviously they're all from the same family, pretty much. So we have, like, a lot of blondes, and then a lot of, like, tan and dark skin, and then the other, I think Willow Creek is kind of, like, brunettes mostly. So it's kind of interesting to see, like, what world they come from affects sort of how they look like. Okay, so we brighten her day. We're just kind of meeting everyone. Some of these are the kids' aunts and uncles, so we definitely have to say hi to them and get to know them a little better. So, yeah, she doesn't know Lady Jocelyn, so we'll do that too. So, usually if they don't have a title and it's just Lady or Sir, as I mentioned, it means that they're the child of a noble noble family, clergy member, whatever. And then if 
usually the oldest child is the one who inherits the title and usually the younger ones don't. So, yeah. And then I try to get, like, the princesses and princes, I try to get them to marry into a noble family so that way they get to keep some sort of title. I'm pretty sure I've been pretty successful at that with the previous generation. So, I don't know. We'll see. But so our dinner party's over, but you guys got to meet most of the people here, so that's good. And then we definitely need to start hanging out with Princess Alice more. I want to meet the prince, the little baby prince as well. So that is at Willow Creek, and we'll get to know them too. But I'm going to end this episode here for now. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so glad that you all are enjoying the Royal Family series so much. So I'm definitely going to continue to post more videos in this series. Thank you all again so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and post any comments if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions. 